What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for being here. Let me turn my mic up so you guys can hear me. There you go. Hey, thank you for being here. I appreciate it. What are we doing today? We're listening to a little bit of Stranglers. We're going to listen to the first track off of side B of the album, which is Peaches. Of course, off the album, Ratis. Uh, I tried to roll the R. Hold on. Ratis Notificus. That sounds pretty good. That sounds pretty dangerous. Uh, released in 1977. Uh, before we move on into the music, can I tell you, my wife doesn't watch the channel, right? But the other day, I, I walked into the room, and she had me on the big screen on the TV, and she was just watching me. I'm like... I felt so embarrassed. I was like, don't watch me. I feel like I'm embarrassed if like you're watching me. And she's like, you're so cute up there. You look so cute on the TV. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm so embarrassing. Anyways, I don't know. It's just a moment I wanted to share. Anyway, hey, <clears throat> peaches, stranglers, let's do it. Think of a lot worse places to be Like down in the streets Or down in the sewer Or even on the end of a skewer
man down on the beaches looking at some peaches. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> what an insane groove on this thing, first of all. Okay, all right, all right. Hey, let's gather ourselves. Center yourself, okay? <clears throat> Center yourself. This ain't no laughing matter. We're talking about some peaches. <laughs> okay, I don't even know where to start. Lyrically, it's hilarious, right? Walking down the beach looking for some peaches, okay? But listen to the music. What choice is there in the music here? Listen to the organ. Oh my god, brilliant organ from Grinfield. Like, this is an, an organ fiesta going on right here. But specifically, think about the way, for example, it plays near the end of the track, just because it's one of the moments I kind of caught. So imagine the lyrics unfolding before us, right? Strolling down the beach, okay? Tropical, sunny. Listen to the organ, that lead. It's almost like a slightly twisted reggae lead and melody, specifically in the organ, a little bit in the bass. They've taken it and literally twisted it just a little bit. Replace the organ in that lead dun, da, da, dun, da, dun, da, dun, dun, with the steel drum. And even the, the slow rhythmic touch that they have, just walking down the beach, the rhythm is a stroll. It's a very dance stroll. That's great. The call and response in the vocals, great. The wordplay. Of course I brought it right back to that moment. The wordplay uh, is none to be compared. That's great. The, the beginning of this track, the whole setup, I think is one of the most brilliant things off of this album so far. Chunky bass to start it off. Chunky like a salsa. Nice little drum pops. Organ comes in. Totally different lead. Then they settle into this groove. I love how they set all this up. Listen, I love when the Stranglers create a strong groove like in here. Uh, or like uh, Princess of the Streets, London Lady. Like, it's a strong groove. It makes you move and it makes you feel something. But behind all of that is just some fantastic musicianship going on. And here, it, it, it's nonetheless. Think about Cornwell and, and the, the, the singing and everything, right? In here, it's particularly lecherous, <laughs> for, for lack of a better word. He is really like, yeah, like, you know what I mean? He's like, he's using that kind of tone. It's very seedy. It's very dirty. It's very, it's like that. And it just works so well in a slight contrast to the brightness of the music here. Uh, if I can talk about Greenfield again, he does some brilliant, brilliant playing with the chords later on in the break area. Here. The break is still a step. That's great, guys. This, this whole thing, I mean, I really enjoy everything that they're doing, but I'm really attached to Greenfield uh, right here. And then the, the last vocals we get. I think I went too far. The final vocals. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what Hugh's doing there. But he, whatever he's doing, it's filtered in some capacity. And he's really getting the last the last of his feelings out. He, mm. <laughs> let's talk about these lyrics, huh? Let's, let's get down. Strolling along, minding my own business. Well, there goes a girl and a half. She's got me going up and down. She's got me going up and down. Take that as you will. Walking on the beaches, looking at the peaches. Well, there's the whole song. There's a whole message put into one. It's not that subtle. Well, I got the notion, girl, that you've got some suntan lotion in that bottle of yours. Spread it all over my peeling skin, baby. That feels really good. All this skirt lapping up the sun. Lap me up. Why don't you come on and lap me up? <laughs> well, there goes another one just lying down in the sand dunes. I like, like I said, when we get to it, like the kind of call and responses from the rest of the band members, it really makes it sound like there's a group of guys that are just going around looking for some fruit. Uh, well, there goes another one just lying down in the sand dunes. I'd better go take a swim and see if I can cool down a bit. 
He's going to go take a swim to see if he can cool down a bit. I think he's going to take a swim so he can hide himself. You know what I mean. Because you and me, woman, we... it's like when you're in class. It's like when you're in class and puberty hits at the most inopportune moment. And then you're worried the teacher's going to call you up to give an answer. We got a lot of things on our minds. You know what I mean. Well, just take a look over there. Where? There. She's trying to get out of her clitoris. I'm assuming that the way he's saying it is a double entendre. And I'm just assuming that it's like a type of bathing suit or whatever. I don't know, but apparently it's very thin on the bottom half of the bikini. Liberation for women. That's what I preach, preacher man. He's, he's on the side of women. He wants to liberate women. <laughs> there goes a shower bunk, which I'm not sure what that is. Looks like I'm going to be stuck here the whole summer. Let me type that word in on Google and hope I, hopefully I don't get anything weird. So the shower bunk is apparently a, a bus. Okay, it's a type of bus, basically. So he's saying the bus has left, so he's going to be stuck there all summer. What a bummer. <laughs> what a bummer. I can think of a lot worse places to be, like down in the streets or down in the sewer, which is the last track on the album, Down in the Sewer, which is one that you guys have been asking for for quite a long time. We'll get there. We're working our way down. And it just ends down on the beaches, looking on the peaches. Mm -mm -mm. Well, let me know what you guys thought of the track. You can let me know in the comments below. As always, I appreciate you being here. I don't know why I'm chopping you. <laughs> I don't know I'm chopping. I'll put my hand down. Thank you for being here. You can follow me on Twitter, support the channel on Patreon. I hope that you enjoyed yourself. I hope that you enjoyed the music. Hope you had a good laugh or two. That's it. I'll see you tomorrow, guys. Have a great day. <laughs> Bye.